Hi everyone. In this video, today let us discuss Sevalamir. What is this drug Sevalamir? This drug is one of the resin which is used as phosphate binder. So within the serum, when the phosphate levels are excessively increased, it can produce one of the condition hyperphosphatemia. This hyperphosphatemia can produce calcification of vascular smooth muscle. It can affect the bones and cardiovascular system. When these phosphate levels are excessively increased, generally they are excreted through the renal system. But in the patients with chronic kidney disease, CKD, these phosphate molecules are not significantly excreted. So the phosphate levels within the serum are elevated. In such conditions, the renal system is unable to clear the phosphate molecules, resulting in hyperphosphatemia. So in the patients with end-stage renal disease, the phosphate levels are excessively increased which can be cleared by dialysis. At the same time, the drugs like Sevalamir can be used, which reduce the phosphate absorption. So excessively increased phosphate levels can affect the cardiovascular system. They can produce the calcification of vascular smooth muscle. They can also affect the parathyroid hormone so that the PDH levels are excessively increased, which increase the inflammatory response. And finally, again, it can affect cardiovascular system. So in such conditions, the phosphate level should be reduced. So when these phosphate levels are excessively increased greater than 5.5 milligrams per deciliter, this sevalamir can be used along with the dialysis such that the serum phosphate levels can be reduced. This drug reduces the phosphate absorption and dialysis can increase the phosphate elimination. So both of these can reduce the serum phosphate levels. This sevalamir is a resin and it is available as salt form it is available as sevalamir chloride as well as carbonate the sevalamir chloride produces the metabolic acidosis by increasing the chloride levels within the serum but in the carbonate form this drug does not produce metabolic acidosis so this salt is particularly indicated in the patients with end stage renal disease as a phosphate binder which reduces the phosphate absorption now let us see the chemical nature of this drug so this sevalamir is made up of two components. One is the allylamine and second one is the 2-chloromethyl oxidane. So when these two are combined, they can form a resin structure like this, which is polymerized. And here we can clearly observe the amine groups. And here the amine is converted as quaternary ammonium group, where it is forming a salt with bicarbonate. Now let us see how this drug acts. Within the intestine, sodium ions as well as phosphate molecules are present within the lumen. They can be absorbed into the systemic circulation through a specialized sodium phosphate transporter. This is one of the symports where the three sodium ions along with one phosphate ion is going to be entering into the membrane of enterocytes. And then phosphate is passively absorbed, whereas sodium is going to be absorbed by another pump, sodium potassium ATPase pump. So this pump is an antiport where sodium is exchanged for the potassium. In this way, sodium as well as phosphate can be absorbed within the intestine through this specialized sodium phosphate transporter. Now, sevalamir is not blocking this transporter. Instead, it acts as a resin which is having the bicarbonate moiety. Now, this bicarbonate can be easily removed and phosphate can be attached to the sevalamir. So it acts as ion exchange resin. The phosphate anions are exchanged for bicarbonate such that they are attached to the resin which is non-absorbable. In this way, sevalamir can reduce the absorption of phosphate anions. Thereby, the serum phosphate levels can be reduced in the patients maintained on dialysis with chronic kidney disease. Now, let us see the precautions of sevalamir. This drug can reduce the absorption of vitamins, particularly the vitamin D can be reduced. Vitamin E can be affected, vitamin K as well as folic acid absorption can be reduced by sevalamir. So when this drug is prescribed for longer periods, these vitamin levels should be checked. Similarly, this drug can produce some dysphagia, difficulty in swallowing. So in the patients with any gastrointestinal motility disorders or patients having the recent GA surgery, in such patients, this drug is somewhat carefully given because it reduces the swallowing 
and the tablet cannot be easily swallowed. Now let us see the side effects of this drug. The important side effects of this drug are mainly related with the gastrointestinal system. So one of the important side effects of this drug is the nausea and vomiting. Because of resin structure, this drug can produce some nausea and vomiting in many of the patients, which can be controlled after a few days of the treatment. And it can also produce some abdominal pain, dyspepsia, diarrhea, and flatulence. So all these are the gastrointestinal side effects that can be observed with this Sibilamir. How it is given? This drug is available as tablet at a strength of 800 mg. So this 800 mg is nothing but 0.8 gram. And it is also available as a powder which is available for suspension at strength of 0.8 gram and 2.4 gram. The initial dose of the drug can be individualized but the initial dose is variable from 0.8 to 1.6 gram given as thrice daily. So in the patients where the phosphate levels are elevated greater than 7.5 milligrams per deciliter it is given as 1.6 gram. But in those patients with phosphate levels around 5.5 mg per deciliter, it is given at a dose of 0.8 gram. And the dose can be then titrated based on the patient conditions and the serum phosphate levels. So that's about this drug, Sivilamir, which is a phosphate binder without producing any metabolic acidosis. And this drug is a resin made up of allyl amine and 2-chloromethyl oxirane. This resin forms a quaternary ammonium salt with bicarbonate where this bicarbonate can be easily exchanged for phosphate anion thereby it acts as anion exchange resin. This drug can reduce the vitamin D, E, K levels along with reduction of folic acid. So these levels should be monitored when this drug is indicated for longer periods. Dysphasia is another important precaution that should be considered with this drug. And Sivilamir can be used in the patients with hyperphosphatemia and chronic kidney disease. In such patients along with the dialysis, Sivilamir can be given along with the meals to reduce the phosphate absorption. As this drug is a resin, it mainly produces gastrointestinal side effects. So that's about this drug, Sivilamir, which is a phosphate binding resin. So that's for today. Hope this video is useful. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.